You know, the thing is, is that the deeds that have been accomplished in places like Iraq and Afghanistan are, are remembered by the people. They remember it. It's amazing the, how much the uh, Afghanis remember the U.S. in the early 50s and 60s when we came out there with USAID and built those dams. They remember, and it makes a difference. And there are people in Iraq and Afghanistan who, because they've seen the sacrifice given by our, by our men and our women, they're not going to give up. They're going to stick it through. It's tough, but they will. And many of those Afghan security forces are now taking far more casualties than we were. But they're still going to fight. We got to make sure that our entire nation as a whole does not forget those sacrifices made by this generation of warriors and their families. I know we can look back at history and we can see where we failed our guys to some extent. But like you, I'm sure that on public holidays like Memorial Day and Veterans Day, you make a special point of not only remembering those stories and remembering your family members, but also educating everybody around you as to exactly what is Memorial Day and Veterans Day all about. And I tried to do that with my children at an early age. Make sure they understood that this freedom that they have is not free. I think Abraham Lincoln is a clear example of an American leader who understood that a nation which fails to honor those who defend it with their lives will likely cease to be a free nation. Lincoln spoke for less than two minutes in Gettysburg. But his passionate words resonated as much today for our nation and your sons and daughters as they did 150 years ago. The fight for the United States was a fight to determine if any nation conceived in liberty can so endure. Today, the task is taken up by only 1% of America. And there are men and women who believe in this country enough to put their lives on the line without qualification and without thought of personal gain. Proud to serve a cause higher than themselves, regardless of the outcome, they gave meaning to two questions. Two questions that Robert Kelly asked his parents. If not me, Dad, who? And if not now, Mom, when?